Here are the streets of Kensington. You are looking at Esperanza Health Center, across the street from Kensington and Allegheny train station, a station that usually has a high police presence for the safety of the neighborhood. However, I don't ever see them enforcing law, just harassing the community members and flaring their sirens around to get through red lights. That's me, and that's my door. I have three locks on the first door, a camera, and then two locks on the storm door. If that doesn't scream how rough this hood can get, just wait. Look here. That is a piece of shit that my neighbor was nice enough to cover with dirt. The other light spot on the ground inches away is a second one. And here is a uncooked chicken bone that someone threw on my singular step. Around here, it's very congested. As you can see, some people are forced to park on this sidewalk during late night drives back home. Walking around cars here is normal, but what's even more normal is encountering sharps. People throw their syringes onto the open sidewalk despite there being numerous sharp boxes nearby. The community does try to keep the streets clean by doing some cleanups and such every now and then. However, these organizations who come in to help do not address the community's real problem the opioid epidemic going around trapping the souls and members of Kensington. Another large issue here in K&A is homelessness. Not everyone sleeping on the streets of Kensington is an addict, but someone who has come into misfortune. With price gouging in the area because of the up-and-coming neighboring sections, the 2020 pandemic, and the opioid epidemic going on, the likelihood of someone getting out of their circumstance is low. And as long as this issue prevails, the city and its members of Kensington will not be able to find success in their community. The people in this community are real people, and they aren't treated as such due to their addictions and circumstances. However, I believe that all humans, no matter what walk of life, deserve basic human natural rights, just like anyone else in this country and world. And sometimes that isn't afforded to everyone. As people, we constantly find ways to tear each other apart, but if we actually use some of that energy to build one another up, not only this community, but this world would be a better place. Thank you for hearing me out about the streets of Kensington.